This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, we want to talk about a story coming out of Mississippi, where basically a, a man by the name of Michael Jenkins was shot multiple times. Now, this story I have, um, I don't have any video for this story. This is an article that's been circulated where basically uh, um, multiple white police officers in Mississippi falsely accused two black men of selling drugs, okay? And dating white women. Imagine that. This 2000, what, 2023, we talking about cops, okay? Cops that are basically accusing you of dating white women before handcuffing and brutally torturing them last month. Like, this happened last month, bro. Last month, but we had no problem uh, with making sure we understood that the black officers were guilty, or I'm sorry, not guilty, but basically allegedly um, beat a man in Memphis, including sh including shooting one of them in the mouth. They shot a man in the mouth, and what should and what should result in attempted murder charges? A group of lawyers said this week. The police violence has left Michael C. Jenkins hospitalized and fighting for his life with injuries that forced doctors to remove his tongue. According to the attorneys, Jenkins was with Eddie Terrell Parker. So it was Michael Jenkins and Eddie Terrell Parker. Okay. And they were in a private residence in the village of Braxton on January 24th. When the location was raided by six white officers without a warrant. Man, they didn't even have a warrant. They done broke up in the man house. They ain't had no warrant. Okay. They raided the house. Six white police officers. Okay. The officers allegedly accused Jenkins and Parkers of dating white women and selling drugs. Allegedly, attorneys, attorneys have denied before handcuffing them. So then they handcuffed them. After they were restrained, the officers allegedly repeatedly brutally beat and kicked the men while using a taser on both and threatening to kill them. A witness even, even described the officers participating in something of a taser contest. So they were witnesses and they were, like, they were having a, a taser contest with Jenkins and Parker being the targets. Jenkins' mother said, the brutality allegedly reached torturous levels when officers waterboarded Jenkins and Parkers by employing the potential deadly interrogation tactic that has been banned, outlawed at the highest level of military. So you talking about they got waterboarded like, like they were terrorists in Guantanamo Bay. I mean, think about that. This is how they doing black men. Okay, and they only accusing you of what dating white women. Sounds crazy. So anyway, let's move on. Jenkins' mother said she she was told by police that her son displayed a gun, which is why he was shot. But Murray Jenkins also said in her um, GoFundMe account she started with the witness said her son didn't have a gun. The witness told that that Jenkins was beat tased and handcuffed while on his knees. This sounds like some Rodney King crap. The witnesses also stated that they went back and forth tasing Jenkins and Parker to see who taser was the strongest. Michael has been clinging to his life and he is unable to talk, only write. Black Lawyers for Justice said in the press release Michael has con Michael has confirmed in writing that he is in fact hand he was in fact handcuffed, okay, when shot by deputies. For several weeks since being shot, Michael has been in ICU at UMMC on life support. Michael suffered severe injuries to his mouth and head, including having his tongue surgically removed, permanent damage to eyesight and hearing, and suffering severe. Uh, debilitating cognitive in injuries. So he had some brain injuries. Surely, uh, when I'm going to that, okay, Black Lawyers for Justice announced uh, they will hold a press conference on Wednesday to make 
several demands, including the officers involved in the arrest and that the involved that the cops involved that the cops involved be arrested and criminally charged as well as all body camera footage be released and made public. And I bet you the camera the, the camera footage being released will, will somehow be redacted or the camera just didn't work that day. I'm pretty sure because this is a month has gone by and uh, we're just now hearing about this. this. This happened on the 24th of January. It is now February 17th. The alleged police brutality took place about one week after officers in Memphis, Tennessee, be unarmed black motors. So, listen, what the black what the black officers did was wrong, and they're going to pay for it. But you see how quick they were apprehended. You see how quick the process moved to get them to pay for get them to pay for the wrongdoing that they have done. We're talking about a whole month has gone by, and we're we haven't heard of any arrest. Maybe there are some. I, Maybe, I mean, I haven't heard anything in the article saying they arrested the officers. But this is a guy who basically they were sitting in, according to the information now, they were basically sitting in their apartment and they were raided and they were accused of dating white women, of selling drugs and dating white women. All right, so I mean, this is where we are right now, man, in 2023. Mississippi, Mississippi officers, they don't, they don't spec, they don't even tell you what county they were from. This is just a news article I picked up. Um, on YouTube, there's really no coverage. I think there was one guy, I seen him have a, uh, you know, he, you know, he had his little eyes, his little uh, podcast talking about the situation. But think about it for a second, man. I mean, all that we have going on in this country, black men are still, I mean, e even when you want to look at the situation and you want to say, hey, well, you know, the man shouldn't have been running. The man shouldn't have been, I mean, just listen to this. This is not even the 50s, the 60s. This is 2023. Officers breaking up in your house making false charges over a white woman who happened to be an attorney at that. It just doesn't make any sense. This is senseless to me. But once again, this is these are reasons why black people should receive reparations, man. We're constantly under attack. We have internal problems going on and then we have external problems going on. We're the only group that's hunted down and just played with. I, 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 you know, we just play with all day. They play with your money. You see what I'm saying? They, they play. They play with your rights all day. And then you'll have someone say something about Asian hate. You don't even hear nothing about Asians getting beat up or shot by police officers in Mississippi. You don't hear any type of thing. But black men. In particular, I believe are the most hated, the most hated race in America. If you had a poll here and you and you took all the put all the races together and you, and you looked to see which one was was first, and second, and last, we will all we will be last in every category except for basketball and football. We will be last in every category in deaths. I mean everything, but constantly we have a president. That makes it sound like he's for black people, but there's no protection features. I mean, and then these are Democrats, right? You know, the Democrats are supposed to be looking out for you, right? It's nothing, but you have everything there for Asians and every other group that comes from overseas or somewhere else, that countries we don't go to war with. You know, <laughs> hey, look, every country that we gone to go gone to war with. Their people are here, whether they be Asian, whether they be they, whatever they are. Every country we have gone to war with, their people are here and living better than the residents of the United States, than the citizens of the United States. I just find it to be appalling, man. And at some time, at, at some point, there needs to be a check of authority 
and who's in charge. This is why, once again, we can only depend on ourselves. This is sad, man, because I, you know, it's, it's really no context. It's, it's just, you know, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, you can't say, you know, why, uh, you know, the guy was out doing something he wasn't supposed to do, or being where he wasn't supposed to be at, or, or, or. Notice these people were in their house, accused of selling drugs. There's no drugs. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Remember, Michael C. Jenkins. Once again, beaten, tongue removed, shot while handcuffed by men of authority. This is Black Views. Have a great day.